politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Well, Melanz Milo, a.k.a. Fula, I'm back to keep you posted on uh, the biggest stories making headlines in the country. A very good morning. Thank you so much for keeping it the buzz, UG. And if you like my updates right here, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. By the way, recently we clocked 24k subscribers and I want to thank you all for joining the buzz family. Now, political analyst Joseph Tamale Mirundi has made a shocking prediction that the Queen of Buganda, Nabagereka Slivia Naginda Luswata, will divorce her husband, the Kabak of Buganda Kingdom, Ronald Mwenda Mutebi II. Appearing in a recent interview on Barut, a social media platform, uh, Tamale Mirundi stated that all this is based on the certain future of uh, the Kabaka and uh, Nabagereka's lack of a male child. Uh, Tamale Mirundi believes that if the Kabaka were to pass away since the Nawagereka has no male child, uh, she would be ineligible for this title and therefore has no role in the palace. Mm. Nawagereka is going to divorce. Eh? I can predict. Nawagereka is going to divorce. Again, I could divorce him. Why? It seems the Kabaka's future is uncertain. And the problem with Nawagereka is that Nawagereka has no role. In the, in the future, in the case the Kabaka dies. It's tough. Why? Nabagereka, the Namuandu of the Kabaka, is called Namasole. But to qualify to be a Namuandu of the Kabaka, you must have produced the king. Nabagereka just sold a Kuzala Muana Marines. Which means, in the case of the Kabaka's demise, that is in nature, the Nabagereka will be useless. Mm. It is Nabagereka is now agitating, for, is preparing for a future, a post marriage future. Well, a senior UPDF officer, Major Alex Acheta, yesterday uh, died in a car accident in Namutumba district, uh, that is in uh, eastern Uganda. The accident happened at around 4 p.m. And at the time of his death, he was serving as the logistics officer at Olili Military School in Katakwi district. The deputy army spokesperson, uh, that is uh, Kano Deo Akiki, has already confirmed the death. May he so rest in peace. <music> Now, police in Chotera are investigating circumstances under which one of their police officers was found dead in a bathroom. Uh, the 33-year-old, identified as Charles, was attached to Kalisizo police station in Chotera district as a constable driver and he had been there for less than seven months. Uh, reports have also indicated that the deceased did not have any health complications and it was a shock to them that he died suddenly. May he so rest in peace. Now, Horrible Segirinya Muhammad and uh, Alan Sewanyana yesterday addressed the media at the NUP party headquarters in Kamocha. They addressed the biggest question, which has been the circumstances under which they were released. We all remember there were reports that there were negotiations for them to be released, but the two members of parliament said they did not engage in any negotiations, as some people have said on a different social media platforms. And some of the question is why was there was negotiations towards our release. I'm here to answer that question that there was no negotiations. It was law that worked upon us so that we get out. Even the pressure of the foot soldiers, the journalists, uh, our party leaders, they made a fundamental law towards our release. That's why we are out. About negotiating for our release, I don't think we needed that. We have paid lawyers to work upon our release and they have fought so much. We thank them. Our lawyers have been aided by the Lord Mayor of this city. A person whose character, a person whose way of doing things, I know is a proven man. He cannot go through corners to do something, however much it would benefit him. He knows how he got that paid application. Now, finally, for now, the media reports have revealed that uh, President Museveni's top minister recently fainted during the investigations into the Iron Sheet saga. Uh, the minister, whose names have been concealed, is said to have made controverted statements concerning how she obtained about 500 iron sheets that were diverted from uh, the office of uh, the prime minister. The vice president, the prime minister and the speaker of parliament are expected to show up and uh, make statements concerning how they obtained the iron sheets meant for the people of Karamoja. 
Well, there you go. That is the latest update on the Buzz UG. And uh, in case you have anything you want to say about these stories, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is uh, Melads Milo, aka Fuller. And it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.